Welcome to Florida International Super Speedway for one of the biggest races, the Florida 500, the first points race of the season. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Cruz Ramirez, the 2017 Florida 500 winner and rookie Colin Bargain. In row 2, H.J. Hollins and Phil Tankson, who won the August race here. In row 3, Lightning McQueen and the champion of the series, Cal Weathers. In row 4, Brian Spark and Bo Wheelhouse. In row 5, Jackson Storm and Ryan Laney. In row 6, Steve LePage and Max Dragonforge 1000, which started his first race here and ended it upside down. Hopefully he doesn't replicate that again. In row 7, JP Drive and Jimmy Cables. In row 8, Conrad Camber and Brandon Powercar in his first points race of the season. In row 9, Bobby Swift and Daniel Suarez. And in row 10 is Chase Race Lot and with JD McPillar. Here's the race format, 10 laps, 25 miles around the 2.5 mile super speedway and pit road speed is 70 miles per hour. The pace car is off the pits and here we go for the 2024 Florida 500, the green flag is in the air. They're three wide behind the pack. Bobby Swift gets turned by the 24 of Chase Race a lot and he brings out the first caution of the day. And he slams the wall with the tail of the car. There's some aggressive battling and we got an another crash. Steve LePage, Jackson Storm, Lightning McQueen, JP Drive. Master Dragon 4000 and Brandon Power Car are involved. Don't forget Phil Tankson. Did I just mention him? Jackson Storm with a bunch of damage around him. And let's just see what just happened. Yep, the 24 turned to 19 of Bobby Swift. And he goes for a ride. The car just won't stop. He hits the wall. That was a really hard lick. And then Steve LePage got loose. Turned Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm turned McQueen. Everybody turns somebody else. That made no sense. Phil Tankson, at, Phil Tankson heads to the pits along with Jackson Storm and Master Dragon 4000. Master Dragon 4000 going in a second DNF in Florida International Super Speedway. And Phil Tankson, his car is junk. The winner in the summer race, now a loser of the 2024 Florida 500. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Chesson 24 Florida 500. And right now, Cal Weathers is heading to the pits just because he needs to change his tires. And we're ready to go back green once the pace car's lights are off. And we're going green next time by. So everybody will line up double foul once they reach turn three. So whoever's in second place will be in first place. That includes the even numbers will be in the odd numbers. And the odd numbers will be in even but lower. Cruz Ramirez hunting her second Florida 500 win. And now here's the double foul line with H.J. Hollins and Cruz Ramirez in first and second place. Sorry for the graphics error there. 
we're just working on we're just gonna fix the graphics next week The pace car is back to the pits, and here we go through the Geico restart zone. The green flag is back in the air for the 2024 Florida 500. With five laps to go, H.J. Hollins trying to, to get first place, but Cruz Ramirez gets first place, but Cal Weathers turns Lightning McQueen, and they both bring out the second caution of the day. That means we're about to go overtime and Steve LePage turns the 84 JP drive and Steve LePage almost goes upside down. Bobby Swift hits the number 84 in the face. Well, JP drive was in the wrong place. And now his car is junk. H.J. Hollins is now in first place. Second place is Conrad Camber. Third, Ryan Laney. And fourth, Cruz Ramirez. Let's just see what just happened. Cal Weathers turns the 95 of Light McQueen, excuse me. They're both former champions. What's going on? Then the, the 34, Steve LePage, turns the 84 of J.P. Drive. Steve LePage almost goes upside down, but luckily the car was able to go on all four wheels instead of going up on its roof. Bobby Swift is involved in this crash. And we'll be right back for the 2024 Florida 500. Welcome back to the 2024 Florida 500, and we're still under caution, but now we've reach overtime since we didn't go through all 10 laps under green flag conditions so we're just going to give them one shot of overtime so if they don't reach the start finish line before the white flag comes out um, the race is over whoever's in first place it could be H.J. Hollins it could be Conrad Camber, Cruz Ramirez Bubba Wheelhouse, Colin Bargain, Ryan Lane. Heck, it could be anybody else. Unless if they're in first place. Now we're doing the double file restart. Conrad Cambers first, second H.J. Hollins, third Bubba Wheelhouse, and fourth Cruz Ramirez. There's another error with the position again. Remember, they have one shot, so they won't do another restart after this. So the next flag will end the race with, if the white flag comes out. The pace car is heading back to the pits, and here we go with the only overtime restart that we have. Green flag. H.J. Hollins gets help from the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez, but nope, the 82 gets help from the number 6 of Bubba Wheelhouse. Here they go, side by side for the lead. H.J. Hollins in first place. Conrad Camber is knocking on the door to check if he could pass him or not, but instead Bubba Wheelhouse goes for first place like, like an eagle. Bubba Wheelhouse in the lead, A. Shea Hollins trying to pass the number 6, or the 82 try to pass this, the number 6, and here they come through the, through the tri-oval. Bubba Wheelhouse gets turned by the number 21 of Ryan Laney, and the white flag comes out, so the next flag will end the race, and there's a big wreck in turn 1. Ryan Laney won't stop turning, Cruiser Miris gets turned. Lightning McQueen passes his teammate. The caution is out. 
Conrad Camber will win the race. Yep, Conrad Camber will, will win the race. H.J. Hollins in second place. Third, either Wheelhouse or Bargain. And we're now entering the tri -oval. Conrad Camber will win the Florida 500. Second place, H.J. Hollins. Third, Colin Bargain. Fourth, Bubba Wheelhouse. And fifth, Brian Spark. Congratulations to the number 82 of Conrad Camber getting his first win of the 2024 season. Here are the official results. The fastest car of the day is the number 82 of Conrad Camber. Next week is Atlanta Motor Speedway for the IGNTR 400 at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 27, signing out.